Hi Pisces signs out there. Welcome to your weekly energy reading for November 4th through the 10th. <laughs> it's 11.33, so I found that very synchronistic and was like, I want to do the Pisces reading. Uh, I have got finished with the Virgo one earlier today, so I'm going out of order. So I'm being a little selfish and doing the Pisces one ahead of time. I will still upload this one 12th and last, but yeah, I decided to do this one because the time synchronicity and I just think like Pisces, like let's just keep on, let's keep it rolling, let's keep supporting each other, building each other up. Like we're always, you know, supporting all the other people and everything. We gotta support ourselves. So this is the Pisces energy reading. <laughs> So this is for your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign, or if it's somewhere else in your chart, or if it's not in your chart at all and you're just listening to this message, then welcome to the Pisces family anyways. You know, this reading's for you if it resonates, right? So we are going to look into the energy through the beginning, middle, and end of the week. I'm going to do my advertisement stuff at the end and, and just kind of thanking everybody here. Well, now I just want to, but I, I'm just, yeah, I'll, I'll do that at the end, so... <laughs> You guys saw my McDonald's bag. So, <coughs> let's get started with this reading. First, we're going to be using the Tarot Familiars cards. Oops. Ooh, I like how this one's just accidentally not flipped with all the other ones. This is the Four of Wands, a card of union. Um, a card of lots of magical wisdom being brought to you and you have a lot of magical wisdom and it's like multiplying and showing up for you in the physical world <coughs> probably if there's like an earth energy well now we're getting the six of wands very victorious so definitely that four of wands that that fiery energy is coming out strong so I'm just gonna have that energy here there's not a lot of imagery with uh, some of these cards, but others, there's like animals on them, so it's a really good deck. Middle, well, we've got the Four of Pentacles. I think this is just talking about that Four of Wands. Um, and then the end of the week. Ooh, we've got the Lovers. Very, very nice. It's kind of telling me there's actually a little bit more going on here. Ooh, the Sun. The Knight of Wands. Now we're getting all the animals. There we go. And then the Ten of Cups. What a beautiful reading. I love this energy. So it's very well grounded. So things might show up for you in the physical world as, well, I think they already have, Pisces. I think they kind of have in a lot of ways. So I think those of you listening who resonate, um, a lot has already shifted in your physical world and now it's just a matter of maintaining it and continuing to go towards your happiness and towards more fulfillment for you. So yes, you will be bringing in more things, but I'm getting like a lot of Pisces listening right now. Like you're not looking for a huge move in the physical world. You're not looking for um, like something, yeah, big physically. It's just like you're, you're solid where you are is what I'm getting, the six of wands. Like you feel good where you are. And like an example, like I just went to a psychic fair on the weekend and someone asked me to write down my like, what I wanna let go of or what I'm worried about or what my stress is. And I was like, I don't even know. And they're like, what are you striving for? And I was like, I'm pretty good where I am now. So it's like Pisces, you're very good with the present moment right now through the beginning of the week and carrying out throughout the week. It's like things really shifted positively for Pisces, this really is kind of Pisces' time to shine. So, excellent job, Pisces. Just beginning of the week, that's what we're talking about. Middle of the week, like making choices with love are working out very positively for you. You're making the positive choice. Um, the Nine of Swords really wanted to flip out, so we'll keep that there. The Knight of Wands, and so, yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm getting like, there's sort of an obvious choice to make it's gonna be a clear one so if you have to choose between lovers if that's a message for anyone out there it's like the choice will be obvious like it's gonna be just like so clear to you like you're gonna be like okay okay I get it like this is what I want and this is what I don't want so you're gonna know and then the knight of wands and ten of cups it's like 
Well, let me go off this card. Ooh. I like this card. Huh. So there's like a cat, and there's like a little mouse, and his hat and boots or shoes or whatever. And the message I'm getting here is like, yeah, there's, like, spirit is, like, protecting all the next stuff for you. Like, waiting for you to fill the shoes um, of, like, a magician, of, like, your job, your your path. You know, the Six of Wands, feeling very good where you are at. I am seeing, like, there is going to be a big shift for you. Still, it's like, you're already solid where you are, but it's like, you're going to realize where you are is actually still just like a small portion of what's actually coming and I really feel like mid to end week you're gonna see more steps unfold for like where you're actually going and you're just gonna continuously be positively surprised by all of the changes that happen in your life and I really feel like at the end of the week there is something here that's like spirit is saying like there's somewhere out there or someone out there where it's like waiting for you to arrive like there's a moment in time that's waiting for you so let's kind of clarify back at the beginning of the month Ooh, nine of cups again this is like self-fulfillment self-love and also your dreams coming true so beginning of the week pisces you feel as though your dreams have come true you've fulfilled your own dreams you've worked a lot on self-love and i can see with the nine of cups and nine of swords you are still processing your hopes and your fears very often whenever I get the nine of swords or the nine of cups the other one comes flying out so I get these cards in pairs all the time it's the hopes and fears combo so you're working through that this week let's see where you end up at the end probably balance or something really positive one or the other because I really feel like with that knight of wands and the ten of cups there's not much else to work through Ooh, well we've got the four of cups which, it's a little bit of balance. It's balance and kind of recognizing that, like, oh, yeah, like, this is, there's still, ooh, and there's a cat in this card in a completely different tech, deck. Um, this is the Wheel of the Year Tarot by Maria Karate, I think. I'm trying to look for the box. I don't see the box near me right now. I don't know where it went. Um, oh, there it is. Yeah, Wheel of the Year Tarot by Maria Karate. Um, Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is indicating this energy of, like, patience and just, like, you're a little bored and feeling like you don't have access to, like, certain offers of love, certain emotional opportunities is this message coming through and I'm just getting like it's it's the it's quite the opposite you're like oh man this rain I can't go out to play and enjoy myself but it's like this rain is actually filling up those cup opportunities so that when the rain goes away and you step outside that you're gonna have so many offers so the end of the week is really telling you like what is happening at this time is actually spirit preparing like it's like if you got a job offer and then like when you get there you like everyone gives you this huge welcoming and like everything is set up for you and it's like all a gift for you something sort of like that there's just something where like all you have to do is wait and see and then like these offers will be there so that's just kind of a message to, to go with at the end of the week. So we are going to do one final layer of clarifying all these messages just to see if there's any other thing I can um, tune in on with your energy. I can tell for sure that Pisces, we're all sort of at different places, of course, with our path, our journey, and what's happening. But I do think around the same time many of us at least in this collective, is going to manifest certain things at the same time. Grounding, beginning of the uh, week, you're very well grounded. You just kind of got the whole card that this is that this deck is based off of. So that's pretty cool. It says tree grounding. So yeah, solid energy with that four of pentacles. It's like yeah, don't don't make any sudden move. Don't like 
totally give up on your path. So if any of you are having a tough time seeing the like blessing here, this is saying like to get grounded in your energy and trust that you're where you need to be. But I don't think any of you are having difficulties believing that. I think many of you are experiencing victory at this time. And maybe shortly after you're going to go through some anxiety and fear possibly about your physical abundance like the financial world so let's get a message there dawn new beginning wow there's really something on the horizon for you according to like you know spiritual energy here like i can see with the four of cups it's you who might feel out of place all of a sudden at the end of the week but I don't think that's really what's happening so if the end of the week feels a little boring or anticlimactic like you know it's like this is it <laughs> it's like sort of like <coughs> if you see the end of a firework show and there was no really cool firework and you're like that was it and then like three seconds pass and then boom there's actually the actual last firework and you're like whoa I see now I see like okay that was good or you get to the end of a movie and you thought that was where it was ending you're like oh but then like there's actually six more minutes of the movie and then like the actual ending is so much better it's like that so I am seeing the energy for you is possibly a couple days after the end of this week which is the full moon Around the full moon energy is bringing you something earth magic into the physical world and that is what we're not seeing throughout this week the earth shifting for you but that those new beginnings are there for you and I really if I were to just take a shot in the dark here and guess because you know sometimes full moon energy just brings in a lot of realizations and and the manifestations we wonder which full moon cycle or new moon cycle it's going to be i'm getting this full moon and the upcoming new moon are actually going to bring in big physical reality changes i feel like a lot of the ones before they did bring all these little shifts here and there that got you to all of like where you are at the beginning of this week feeling very victorious of who you are and where you're at and i'm seeing like you're gonna see like actual physical changes that like are offering you like so much happiness and emotional fulfillment and I'm getting once again how um, this is just a breadcrumb of what you're actually going to experience I'm getting this full moon it's gonna show you something and you're gonna feel like it's the ten of cups you're gonna feel like all your dreams came true times ten you know you're gonna feel like wow <laughs> and like if that's not what happens for any of you I'm sorry to like if I'm hyping you up and then the hype is not worth it I just mean it's very likely that at the end of the week there's something very emotionally satisfying and the four of cups is telling me that like either you listening when you get there you're gonna be aware that that's only a smidge of what you're actually manifesting down the road or you're so happy and so content with that that spirit is letting and giving you the heads up that like wow if that really made you happy get ready for the upcoming like two to four months and two to four years even like this this change really <coughs> has shifted Pisces if you notice things have gotten a lot better since like 2019 or end of 2018 even something like that I do believe it's connected to Chiron exiting our constellation or whichever one it was I remember hearing something about Chiron and that it was creating this huge uh, effect of like Pisces going through a lot of pain for like the last six years or something and that that has come to an end and so we really have years and years of like positivity and abundance and we now have the awareness that like the magic is always there and that our time to shine is actually our own power if we choose to align with it so Pisces it's like you've really gotten your power back at, at the right time and everything and it's not really going anywhere for the like for for the future to come like you just get better and stronger and like I'm just so proud of all of you of everyone in the Pisces fam <laughs> and, just, and just everybody in general so let's get some overall energies to leave off on eight of pentacles the overall message here is to keep up the hard work 
the other overall message. Wow, we're getting the Three of Wands, and then this card kind of like spilled out <laughs> the Two of Cups. <coughs> the overall message is um, love is coming, and woo, and love is here and love is now. This is the overall message. True love is is what you're what a lot of you are here for on your journey, you know? I think that just makes sense. And reflection. And this is saying you really feel a special connection with someone and you're like, as much as you feel true love with people, you're also not just gonna sit around and do nothing. And that if you are s sitting around doing nothing, it's like meditating or being grounded where you are or enjoying life, things like that. So I am seeing you're like, you're being hopeful, you're living your life, and you're and you're just enjoying where you are right now because you're just trusting that like all of your dreams are going to keep coming true and that right now is just the time to kind of live life, relax, and not have to think so hard when it comes to love. That's really the message I'm getting with those cards. So let's go ahead and get in some blessing. What kind of blessing is coming your way this week? What is something that is a blessing? We're getting Magician in the Mirror. And I don't know the meanings to these cards, but I'll just go with my own. Blossoming Abundance and ooh, man holding a coin. I like it. And then the Fifth Chakra. Solid communication overall. The blessings coming through is quite positive. One blessing coming through is the balancing effect that I was talking about when I saw the hopes and fears, when I saw the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Swords. I was like, oh yeah, this is balancing out very positively. In fact, I'm kind of taking this Four of Cups as the Four of Wands because we did get that at the beginning, um, sort of. And so that to me is saying, yeah, you are kind of just, there. there's a, a strong chance some of you are going to come together with certain loved ones at the end of this week. If not, soon after um, magician and the mirror and then we had this overall energy right here that says reflection like a mirror and this I was connecting it to love so manifesting love so that's a blessing coming in that's a nice blessing I feel like Pisces you already know what I'm talking about blossoming abundance and then manifesting coins and then and then it's coming in the form of both it's like when love life manifests career life manifests and when career life manifests love life manifests and then suddenly you realize you get to have it all and you're going to manifest something where it's like you bring in true love and you bring in money and it's like what <laughs> love and worth like that's cool you know so very positive those are the blessings coming through those were quite positive energies let's see um any advice for these blessings to come in? What is your advice about that? Leap of faith. It's mostly just to trust that that's what's happening. There's not really any advice for you. All of you Pisces listening, you know what to do. If you don't know what to do, then have trust. Have faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Let's get one more advice card. Easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So if any of you have a problem with like having patience, you're going to really need to practice patience is what I'm getting here. So, yeah. Nice. That that's what's coming through. And then and I think that has a lot to do with the abundance that's blossoming for you. Not to force things and to let the abundance come in at perfect timing. And then let's get the advice for like all of this, love and finance and love and career coming together. Sensitivity, it's just kind of like avoiding negativity, avoid the situations that don't serve you. Listen to your sensitivities, like let your sensitivity be your strong suit and focus in on your heart chakra. So very beautiful energy and then the overall advice for the whole week is fairness this situation will be handled in a just in in a fair and just manner so this is saying like you don't have to do anything spirits got you and it's like you're learning that you're like oh all i have to do is live my life sit 
and 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 like try to learn sort of it's like I don't want to say like you don't have to do anything it's like of course you're doing stuff you're working hard but it just I just mean like any situation that you're worried about don't worry about it is the message coming through is the overall advice because it's gonna work out so <laughs> I hope that helps um, that's it so that was the reading Pisces thank you so much for listening I hope that resonated with you um, if you like it resonated with me and I'll just have to go through the week and see what happens but uh, if you enjoyed that reading and that resonates I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment below um, Dang, what am I trying to say? Okay, um, if any, I'll start here. If any of you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can book one at my booking website, sunsunmushy.com. That link will be in the description box below. And uh, dang, I was a lot better at saying this earlier. I'm gonna have to go back and see what did I say exactly. But oh yeah, if any of you are new, um, please subscribe if you feel tuned into this energy. If you'd like to support the channel and join me here. I also have donation links down in the description below for anyone who wants to engage in that kind of energy exchange. Um, that'd be very much appreciated. And liking, sharing, commenting down below, and subscribing are also other forms of showing your support and showing that I'm putting out good content. And if you feel like I'm not putting out good content, that is a-okay. You can unsubscribe, you can click off, things like that. So. Did a lot better with that in the other videos, but that is okay. I really wanted to do this Pisces reading right now. Um, I'll get to doing the other five horoscopes um, later this night. So I hope you all have a good week. I'm sending so much love and light to everyone listening and just to everyone. Um, and thank you all once again. I'll talk to you all in another reading video. Take care, everybody. Peace out.